Hi guys, welcome. Hello. I'm communing with Princess Kai. Mm. Not often you see Princess Kai. She's she's leaving her mark all over you. Yes, I um, <laughs> bit more than so it's a, a bit of a bits and pieces Hello. video this one. Yes. Um anybody who doesn't speak English, if you check the closed captions on YouTube. I'm changing it now so that you've got the words written there in your own language. So or at the most popular languages. Most popular languages. Mm. I, and if there are any languages that you would like me to add, just let me know. Yes. It may not be when we first have the video out because it depends on time because we were Lillian working and, and things like that and it's just the amount of time and I'm I'm no good at this sort of thing. Um, apparently I'm very bad at using my own language <laughs> because auto translate and Do such like doesn't like it, me either. No, it doesn't. No. no. So I have to go in and change it all. Yes. So if there are any languages you'd like added, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Yes. On that note, hi to all the new subscribers. Thanks for joining us. Yes. And anybody who hasn't subscribed and is watching us and watched us for the first time, our uh, our last video had a, a really good view view account. Um, so. Hello and thank you for taking the time if you've revisited again or if it's your first time. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Yes. So this week's video is a bit, bits of this, bits of that. Yes. yes um, it is. We're continuing with the caves, but there's also other stuff happening around all the time. At yes. the end of the day, we're living our life here. Yes. Or surviving. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe in this video, I prove I'm better at putting up gutters. But tell me what you think. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Consider subscribing below. Yes. And we'll catch you on the next one. Yes, you could even consider smashing the like button or the subscribe button as we do with some almonds. Ooh. I know. I just thought of that one off the top of my head. No scripts for us. That's what I have to live with all the time. Can you imagine? Yeah, I know. Awesome. <laughs> Bye for now. Well, the clothes are dry. It's a couple of days later now, actually. Um, Lillian's going to be doing the other bit because I can't. The, the roof of the corridor wasn't built in such a way that it's particularly safe for, for, to walk on. Um, it's actually really, really thin. And the guy literally just put about a centimetre and a half of cement over the top of all the expanded polystyrene that was done as insulation instead of doing it properly. Um, so there's a crawl board that we've got, so Lillian's going to go up on that and it's quite easy reach. So uh, she's going to start on the house roof. Now uh, we've bought some brackets and we're hoping that they're going to work, but there is a possibility that when the tiles get wet, that may, they may break. Um, and in which case we do have a plan B, but these brackets were really inexpensive, so I'm going to try them first. And we've got spare tiles if any of them crack. So that's all okay. So we'll get on with that. Absolutely. Okay, I'm at the bedroom window, my crawl board. Now you need to not video this, Chris, as I fight to get out of here in some sort of decorous manner. You're joking, aren't you? After you videoing my misfortune the other day, you've got no chance of me not videoing it. You not video? Oh, thanks. I thought you loved me. Yeah, but okay, the comedic well. value outweighs that. You, the laugh value outweighs <laughs> that. Um, I don't remember how I did this before. No, Deborah, don't try and help. The reason why you're not using the ladders is because there isn't a level platform in any of this area right here to get up no. the ladders. No, exactly. That you feel safe on. Yeah. See, you managed it. I managed it. I won't be able to get back in again. That's all right. Dover's here. I don't know if you can see him or not. He's like, <laughs> Down. what are you doing? Why are you out there? Yes. Right, I'll pass you the bracket then. Okay. Oh. 
Thank you. Okay, so just just try one pile and we'll get to see if it's uh, the correct angle or if you need to make adjustments again. And again, we've got to do it on the on the valley because they're, they're only thick enough for that. Is that about level? It's got ever such a slight angle to it that way. Okay, that might be fixed once. Uh, once this is tightened properly. Once it's tightened, yeah. Do you really want these rocks on here? Apparently so, because they are to stop the tiles and the wind that forces against them from lifting, because they're only placed. Okay. None of them are actually attached down. When you see it up close, it's a bit freaky, all these rocks on your roof. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yep, pass me a load of stuff then and I'll do them. Okie doke. There really is, after much working out and everything, just putting the final two on. Is it final two clips? It is. Oh, ho, ho. yes, indeed. Very complicated. Yes. Because these aren't set absolutely right, <laughs> you've got some that are in the space where you want to put a bracket on the top, or at the bottom, you can't fit the bracket in. You've got to play with it to make it work. Yes. And it also doesn't help that they're all handmade. Exactly, so, so completely different. Yeah, so they're all different. The other day you took the mucky and said five hours. I think this has been about five hours <laughs> with the guttering up. Tested with water, which I didn't chuck all over myself. And it works. Good job, well done. Yes. At last. At last. Unfortunately, we need a bit more guttering for this low bit. Yeah, we miscalculated. There you go. I welcome don't know to, how. Welcome to our world. I don't know how. No, neither do I. We never do, but we always get it wrong. We're about half a metre short. <laughs> but like half... Oh, big one at the quarry. Yeah. If we'd had that half metre, we would have needed another join as well. So either way, it's, it's still wrong. Yes. Um, so back to the big box store for that next time we're passing. No hurry on it. This no. is the important one, and as is that one. So we're Indeed. good to go. Oh, yes. Seeing as I was a sensible lady to test the guttering that I put on the house and didn't pour water all over myself, Chris decided that he was going to show me again how good the guttering is that we put up the other day, that he did chuck up a bucket of water all over himself and he quite purposely went, stand there, and then chucked water at me. I did not. <laughs> you did. What you happened? You do tell them. That's what happened. Anyway, it sounds as if nature's going to tell us if it works or not. We've got thunder happening over there. We've had four or five days of this that have not turned into much. Um, you can see it darken here. And thunder, we will see. Well, we have rain. I guess we will see if uh, our guttering works. You hear thunder in the background. Is it cooler out here, Kai? Is it nice? Good girl. Mm, see if we get a bit more rain and uh, check this out properly. It's very traditional. Using yeah. a rock. Yes, it's actually better than using the hammer. Is it? Why? Because you can use it like a hammer. Right. So, I mentioned breaking some a few almonds and Lillian thought it was a good idea. Then she decided that she might like trying to have a go at making almond oil. So she did some research on it and no, it's not really going to work. It's not very efficient with what we have without buying another piece of equipment, which is quite expensive. Then I said, well, you could make some marzipan because you like making marzipan and we both like eating marzipan. 
So she said yes. I said, well, I'll, I'll break some almonds because I would like to to fry some almonds. Uh, you don't actually fry them as such, but you sort of roast them, yeah, salt, the salt them or honey them or whatever, yeah. Yes. So Lillian said, that's a good idea. You take the sack out. These are our last year's almonds. And I'll find a small pot to put them in. <laughs> That's how many almonds I want. So it looks like I am going to be here for a while. And no, like you're not having any. Well, that's all the empty shells. I've got a bucket of them, and that's all we got with the almonds. There's a few broken ones in there. That's a lot of work for a little return. It's been a couple of hours, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it has. It's been two beers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. There should be plenty there for what Lillian needs and hopefully enough there for what I might want to do with my little experiment. Yes. Um, roasted almonds, fried almonds, however you want, however the chef people call it. And uh, they'll have, they'll be done like that and have a bit of honey jizzled over them while they're nice and hot. And a little bit of salt, very nice. And I'm going to smoke them with almond shells. Oh, you're doing them on the barbecue. Well, I'll do them in the little machine, yeah. Yeah. Because <clears throat> um, smoked almonds are nice. Yes, they are. Okay, so I'll start in this one now. I've got a hand pick. These are all right, but it takes a long time. Um, what I wanted to do was pick some off because it was bulging and getting hollow here. Um, we'd a we had actually hoped to have kept this, this clay wall and do something with it but as it's dried out it's kind of self-destructed a little bit uh, so I took some off down there and I started chipping away here found some more evidence of canes and lots more pine roots and then some stones tiny little ones which are just there and there's a void behind so I just picked up a couple of rocks and I placed them there to keep in mind for come to repair this it's a void, it only goes back like the length of your hand but obviously that needs some work doing to it so get the rest of this wall off and uh, that'll be that done it would have been much better while it was wet it would come across come away easier but it is actually coming off quite simply anyway so I've had a bit more of a go with the, uh, with the pick. It's hard work, considering. So uh, I will definitely go over to the machine. And Lillian's just come home from work. And I've got a blister on my foot. So now I've got a poorly. So maybe I can't do any more work today. Well, yesterday didn't go quite as planned. <coughs> and Lillian got home from work. And she uh, checked her emails and discovered there's some really, really important paperwork that had to be uh, looked at and uh, reviewed. So, uh, so that put pay to that. So today, I'm now going to get this wall cleared and we'll see what we find. Wall's nearly done. There's a few patches I still need to do. Uh, there's definitely been some repairs here. Um, we're not going to attack those. They're nice and firm and they're nice and dry and it looks like a natural product so we should be okay to go over that. <coughs> Got this corner off. You can see now they're all right there. And that is just, oh there's a stone. I put that in there. Got roots, all sorts of stuff. Now and that's quite heavy. And his friends are there. 
mopping paint. <laughs> that was a lot better. Alright, yay show time. We've got to recapture the octopus. Put him back in his prison. Going up into those grooves. You've got your yeso. Yep. Bucket. Yep. Water. Yep. Helper. Yep. That you don't need. He's going to yep. be a right pain. Yes, he is. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to do it in sections. I've already wet up there where it's all bone dry. From here to there. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to have a full coat in, it's going to have just enough to hold it because the rest of it's going to be when we do the lime because the lime will, will do it, will hold it as well but we need it to be held in spots securely. Right, so yeah, so it's mixed. Normally you'd use rapid but it's a bit too rapid for me to use. So I'm using controlled and it's uh, still a little bit softer than I would have liked, but if I'd have put any more in, it'd go off too quick. So literally, all you do is that. Just build it up a bit. And put the tubes in. And then one's there. is a waiting game so to speak. Well I've just been up to get us a drink to come back to find somebody's attacked the lintel. Well what it was was I was putting that tool away. Yes. And it and I caught a trigger going like that. <laughs> so you just magically caught the lintel. I'm gonna come in close with the camera whilst nothing's falling just to show you where we're at. Can you see where there's no lintel? There's one piece of wire between that side and that side. Can you show it on camera? Because the light behind it, it's not showing very well. That's, that's all holding that bit of lintel to that bit of lintel. And I'm stepping back with the camera. Oh, it's not attached anymore at all. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was, it was very tired. <laughs> okay. It could be a modern art, a modern artiment. An artiment. <laughs> if that falls and cracks my floor tiles, I'll be cross. Let's just see if this can do it. Um, what I would like you to do is get your fingers away from there. Yes. I'll let go completely. Yeah. Right. It's going to come down. Oh, no, stop. Sorry. Don't, don't. Okay. It's going to come down. If you can stand this side. Stand your side. Okay. Are you ready? Help that out. Okay, down to the top. tubes held up now with splodges of the Yeso product so that when we can plaster they'll just disappear into the plaster. Still got to do sort <coughs> out, so that's just hanging there for now. See, it's not hanging, it's been strung up. Okay, it's been strung up. Yes. What did it ever do to be strung up? Um, fall down. <laughs> and this first lintel across this arch is out. Yeah. And it's blinking beautiful. I know, and we want the rest of them out now, but we just don't. It's not a risk we're prepared to take. We are going to take the other one on the other side of the arch here, this guy. Because he's doing nothing. Because he's doing nothing. Um, oh, they have put a splodgy bit up there, up to the ceiling. But I think that was more... A splodge. A splodge, just because. I think it was more of a just-in-case. These other ones have got masses of product then going up to 
the, the original falling in ceiling and up there. So they're doing a, they're doing a job. Well, yeah, they are, they aren't. I know, but because yeah, there's a big bit there, but then it's not doing anything for this. Oh, this is damp. It wasn't damp before. It is now. Yeah, you can see it. You can actually see the colour. Yeah. But the splodge is there to hold this bit of ceiling. Where this ceiling fell in, it's holding this bit up. 